How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome to another 4.4 tutorial. Now, I'm not going to make a lot more tutorials on 4.4 because a lot of the things that I've covered are from some of the 4.2 videos and I don't want to repeat myself so if you need more tips or advice go watch the other 4.2 videos. You can apply that advice to 4.4 as well because they're very similar. And I wanted to cover setting in this video because setting can be a bit different than it is on 4.2 in 4.4 because you have dumps. So dumps look like this. You can actually use a dump to set. So I'm I recommend going into the bots menu if you type a colon bots you can set up your own bots in your own private server if you have the game pass I believe so you can see you can set up to six bots to do whatever you need the first bot we're gonna set up is for longs as you can see it's gonna do receives and what this will let us do is practice glide setting and glide setting is useful because as a setter, you're not always going to be standing here. You're going to be moving around sometimes, maybe helping the team receive the ball and other things like that. Uh, so this is also useful for six too, if you want to learn how to glide set from behind this line. Uh, but in six, two, you can jump in front of the line anyway, if you wanted to, but just glide setting looks cooler and it's definitely much harder to pull off. So as you can see, I've got the bot to receive it towards the middle here. And what you're going to practice is, as you can see, I changed my power. I'm on 1, 6, 15 now. You're going to set it to 6. And then you're just going to watch the ball and try and glide with it like this. And what you want to do is try aim at this antenna. So a little bit something like this. Apart from you, you actually hit it, so... Wow. I'm bad. There we go. More or less something like this, and then you try it with power 8 to the other antenna. And then you try quicks, so you would do glide into a quick. And then glide into a quick again. Like that. And what you can do is move this bot around to make it less and less comfortable for you. So you could make it, let's say, if we move it on the z-axis to minus 10. Oops, wrong axis. If we put it to 10 here, you can see it's on the right. And if we change the yaw, it now aims it from the other side. So now you can practice it from the other side. The, the ball is so laggy in this game. Like, my ping is on 50, but it's teleporting still. Bam! Hit the antenna. Now we hit the right one. We hit the right antenna, pretty much. So you get the point for glide sets. You can set them up from shorts as well. If you want to set up shorts, you go to bots again. There's going to be a lot of this in this video. And you can move it up by a notch. I believe it was the Zad axis. You move it to minus 20 and change the receive power to 2. You can now do it from shorts. And I believe shorts is much harder because you don't get that much more time to react and glide. So you kind of need to be pretty damn quick. I'm gliding like one pixel off every single time. Wow. Okay, but you get the point. You just do this if you want to learn glide serves. And glide serves are good because you can pretty much learn how to aim while flying. Uh, aim your sets while flying, which will make you look like an absolute god. But I think I've talked enough about glide sets. Um, but now we're going to talk about just like general quicks. And also dump sets. So you can actually dump set. Let me change the power to 3. Okay, so dump sets look more or less like this. But it requires the person to be fairly close to you. 
And if it goes over you, you actually need to use sprint. Because sprint makes you jump a lot higher. But for a dump set to happen, the receive needs to go really high. So that's what a dump set more or less looks like. And then obviously you could quick, uh, you can dump. I don't know if this is legal as well, but you can set it like this. Where you spike it with power of one to the side. I don't really know if that's legal and counts as a set. You can spike it with power one to either side. There's also up tilts. So if you see the receive going over, you go up to it, up tilt. And the spike would get that. Obviously, you don't have to up tilt. But in my opinion, uh, up tilt gives the spiker more time to more or less react after a bad receive has happened. So yeah, so something like this is pretty good, like power 4. You gotta learn all your powers so that at any point you can think for yourself about what power you want to use for the set um, so that you can adjust. That's what adjusting basically means. If someone asks you to adjust, that means they want you to change power to get it to them no matter what. So if I was here, I would choose around 10 to get it to the antenna. If I was here, I would choose around maybe 6, maybe 8. Both of them could work, depending on the spiker. And if I'm really close, I might do something like this with power 1, all the way to power 3 or 4. 3 seemed perfect there. It's all about learning your up tilts and where they go, learning just regular normal sets. Sets against the net like this there's a lot a setter has to take in uh, there's a lot more ways to set than just standing around in the middle doing this so and you gotta be able to adjust to those situations if you're a setter uh, there's not really much else to, for setting you can dive set as well but that requires good timing from the spiker Bump sets against the net, like this. Obviously your normal flick sets, where you lock your mouse in last second. And I think, I, I, I don't think there's much more to talk about setting. Just keep practicing. Get your own private server, if you can. Spawn these bots in, and just practice being creative with your sets. Until you come up with a way to do multiple sets really easily so that you can build up your arsenal but I, I that's all the tips i can give for now if you guys found this video useful please consider leaving a like it helps it come up in the search and leave a comment below of what you liked about this video what you would maybe want to see next and make sure you subscribe for more of these videos i'll catch you guys later Peace out.